welcome back to the breakdown. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the Serene Seasons mod in Minecraft 1.18.1. As the name implies, this adds seasons to Minecraft. Spring, summer, fall, winter, it's all in game. And you can pair it with other mods like Bombs of Plenty to make things really, really, really cool. So overall, this is an amazing, amazing mod and one that I would honestly recommend if you want to add seasons to Minecraft. But before we get on into it, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much, so we host our own server. Play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So, if you want to start your own server, check out Apex the first link down below. The breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get this Serene Seasons mod added to Minecraft. What you want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is our text tutorial for getting Serene Seasons, so if you want to kind of go through things at your own pace, you can do that here. Nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and click on the yellow Download Serene Seasons button to be taken to the official Serene Seasons download page. Come over to here to the right-hand side and scroll down, and you'll be able to see Minecraft 1.18 right here, and under that you've seen Serene Seasons 1.18.1. Click on the orange download button to the right of that to begin Serene Seasons downloading right like so. One of the cool things about this mod, by the way, is that it actually allows snowing in biomes that don't have no snow normally, due to winter, for example. In summer, snow will melt in biomes that normally wouldn't have snow melting. It's an awesome mod. Nevertheless, here in the bottom left, we do have Serene Seasons. It downloaded automatically for me. I didn't have to keep it, but you may have to keep it in the bottom of Google Chrome or save it in the screen of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. That's 100% safe to do that. Now, there's one more thing we need to download for Serene Seasons, and that is Forge. Forge is the mod loader that Serene Seasons used to add itself to the game. So in the description down below, the third link down below, you can click that and it will take you here. This is our in-depth Forge guide. We're going to be going over the basics of it in this video, but if you do have any issues, this tutorial will help you out. Nevertheless, once you're here, click on the green download Forge button to be taken to Forge's official website where we want to make sure Minecraft 1.18.1 is selected. As you can see, it does say MC 1.18.1 there, so we're going to go ahead and come under download latest and click installer. If MC 1.18.1 isn't here, you want to go ahead and click on the 1.18 on the left hand side and select it, and then again come under download latest and click on installer. Now, when you click on installer, Take your hands off your mouse, take your hands off your keyboard, and just put them straight up in the air. Don't click on anything on this page whatsoever until about 10 seconds have passed. You want to sit here and wait for about 10 seconds, and then in the top right, you will see a red skip button. So on the top right, you'll see a red skip button, and click that red skip button in the top right. That's the only thing you want to click on this page whatsoever is the red skip button. When you click on that, right away, Forge will begin downloading the bottom left. And as you can see, it says Forge 1.18.1 in the title. That means it's 100% safe to keep the file if you do need to keep it. Almost so Firefox, you need to save it in the center of your screen. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And once we're on our desktop, we want to get these basically files we downloaded to our desktop. To do that, you want to click on the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, but click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. Type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. Open that up and in here you'll find Forge and Serene Seasons. Drag and drop these to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we want to start off with Forge. Now if these icons look different for you than they do for me, that's 100% okay because we're going to show you how to fix that. Just keep watching because there's three issues fixed with basically one solution. So the first one is these icons. If they're broken, we're going to show you how to fix it. The second one is if you right click on Forge and click on Open With and you don't have Java here at all. If you don't have Java here at all, we're going to show you how to fix that. And if you do have Java and you click OK and it does anything other than open up the mod system install for Forge, we're going to fix that as well. How do you fix all three of those issues, those icons, not having Java or Forge not opening up with Java? Well, all of those are fixed by downloading and installing Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft 1.18 mods, servers, anything. 1.18 plus requires Java 17. It's a super simple and easy three-step tutorial for, to go through. Then, after you've done that, you want to run the jar fix, and that's going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java. That's specifically going to fix those icons, as well as can work out a few other weird issues. Once you've done that, though, finally, we can minimize our browser, right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. This is going to open up the mod system install for Forge, where we want to click on Install Client, and click OK. This is going to download, set up, and install Forge. The only reason it won't work at this point is if you don't don't have Minecraft 1.18.1 installed, meaning you haven't played Minecraft 1.18.1. Go play it. Once you've played it, you'll be good to go. That means open it up to the main menu and close out of it, and this will work. Nevertheless, successfully installed Client Profile Forge. Awesome. Click OK. It's going to close out of that, and we can delete Forge from our desktop. Now let's get Serene Seasons installed. To do that, we want to open up the Minecraft launcher here, and then we want to make sure we select our Forge profile. Now my Forge profile is going to probably be automatically selected, I would guess, but if it's not, I'm going to show you what to do. So once we open up this here, we have Forge right like 
so. And if we click on this little arrow next to the play button, we can select Forge if you don't have it selected automatically. Now, as long as it has 1.18.1 Forge under it, click play and click play again. You're good to go. However, if you don't have Forge here, click on installations and make sure modded is checked. As you can see, unchecked modded, Forge disappears, checked modded, Forge reappears. Awesome. Then we can go ahead, hover over Forge, click play, click play again. However, if you still don't have Forge here or Forge doesn't have 1.18.1 Forge under it, what you want to do is click on new installation. Then you want to go ahead and name this whatever you want, but I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com, which is our amazing 1.18.1 grief protected survival server. It's got survival, it's got skyblock, come play on it. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Nevertheless, for the version, we're going to go ahead and click on this drop down here, and then we want to select release 1.18.1 Forge. Right here it is for me. Yours may be down a ways. You might have to scroll down to find it, but mine's right up here at the top. Now we want to go ahead and change our resolution. I'm going to do 1920 by 1080. You don't have to do that, but uh, I'm doing it so we can see once we get in game. The most important part for you is under version, it says release 1.18.1 Forge. Let's go ahead and click the green create button in the bottom right. And now we have play.breakdowncraft.com with the most important part, 1.18.1 Forge under it. Hover over this, click play, and click play again to open up Minecraft with Forge. That's the hard part. That is the most difficult part of installing Serene Seasons. From this point on, it's going to be smooth sailing. You're going to be like, is that simple? Yes, it is that simple from this point on. Now, one thing I will mention, it will take a lot longer to open up Minecraft with Forge and even longer to open up Minecraft once you have mods installed. So if that happens, if it feels like it's taking a while, it's because it is, and that's perfectly normal. So as you can see, we were on a white screen longer than normal there. Even all this stuff takes longer when you have mods and even Forge itself installed, so just keep that in mind. Nevertheless, though, we are now loading in to the Minecraft main menu, and once we're here, we want to go ahead and click on this Mods button. So from the Minecraft main menu, click on Mods, and then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. When you click on that, it's going to open up your mods folder. Where you want to do is take Serene Seasons and drag and drop it into your mods folder, right like so. Now, if we come back to Minecraft, Serene Seasons is in here. That's because we need to click Done and click Quick Game to close out of Minecraft. We then want to open up the Minecraft launcher again, but this time we already have our installation created. We have either the Forge installation or we have our Play.BreakdownCraft.com installation, right? Either one is going to work, and guess what? They're automatically there. It's even automatically selected for you, most likely. As long as it does say 1.18.1 Forge there, click play, click play again, and now Minecraft is going to open up with the Serene Seasons mod installed. This is honestly a really, really cool mod, and one of my favorite mods out there because of everything that it, you know, kind of adds to the game, but everything it doesn't. It doesn't add new blocks, it doesn't add anything like that, it just makes it snow, it just makes it cool, it just kind of adds a time progression to Minecraft that you normally wouldn't have, and honestly, it's a mod that I would include in like a mod pack for realism for Minecraft, and um, Pretty cool stuff. So now we just sit here and wait for this to open. Like I said, it will take even longer with even one mod, but once you start cresting like 100 mods, it's going to take forever for Minecraft to open, but that's okay. So here we are. Now let's go ahead and click on, or well, we can click on this mods tab, and there is Serene Seasons. Awesome. Now we can also jump into single player. This is going to air out like crazy. Don't do not do that. This is a bombs of plenty world. Yeah, no, cancel. I don't <laughs> There we go. We're going to create a new world and we'll call this Seasons. And by the way, this does work with bombs of plenty, but I don't have bombs of plenty installed, meaning that wasn't going to work. So here we are loading on in. I'll do a quick jump cut and meet you in game. So here we are in Minecraft. Now, unfortunately, there's no real way to see this mod unless uh, some time progresses. However, I do believe that we can do Season Set and then let's do uh, Midwinter, maybe? And then we want to do, uh, yeah, there you go. You can immediately see. Look at that. Everything dies off. That is absolutely incredible. And then if we go ahead and do like uh, Midsummer, for example, we can go ahead and see everything comes back green and to life. I love that. That is so amazing. Go back to Midwinter and you'll see this here. Now, one of the really cool things is uh, if we do Weather and then Rain, right, it will actually snow all right normally it wouldn't snow in these biomes but it is and as you can see it is actually cresting these blocks and creating snow on them it's one of the coolest things about this mod to me is whenever you're normally you know in an area this progresses right so it's going to get progressively grayer and darker and all that stuff but on top of that eventually it will snow and when it does covering your build that normally would never be covered in snow in snow and getting to see that it's it's honestly a uh, a really cool thing but if we go back to midsummer we'll be able to see this is going to turn to rain and the snow will start to melt as well so nevertheless thank you so so much for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week my name is nick this has been the breakdown and i'm out peace